before it was decided to let you knock things down supplier trucks were vulnerable to getting stuck in between mailboxes it was very annoying to accidentally get stuck and slowly reverse, although it was funny to see people get stuck. Of course in a future update they fixed this and made it to where it knocks down mailboxes and even small trees. Players take advantage and grief peat mailboxes. Let's move on to the next one guys. Long ago emotes were in text, as you can see there is a trip button and that will cause you to stumble. They removed this emote due to a bug that causes you to fly using it. They replaced it with emojis that correlate to the act of the original. With the addition of R15 they have new emotes like sitting and new dances. Let's move on to the next one guys. Back in the day. There used to be a catalog this is now the item shop. There was a lot of customizations, gear, and furniture. When bought, items will appear in your inventory and can be used when selected, anywhere and anytime except furniture. Although it is a small difference this was replaced with the item shop it is pretty much the same thing with the only difference being how it is organized and the fact that now it has locked items. Let's move on to the next one guys. Before going under a year or two of maintenance the dump used to look not only different, but changed entirely, not only did you have to talk to the cashier to paint your house and buy the items, but only 4 items at a time were on sale. Due to this, it took forever to find a good deal. There was a money bag which can only be bought there but more on that later. Insert example of purchase an item. Nowadays all you have to do is click or tap on the item on sale and buy it. Let's move on to the next one guys. Back in the day coins were really cheap, it still is cheap, but now it is more expensive. I never really thought the price would change. Apparently deflation occurred in the game. The amount of coins you can buy at once changed as well the price. Now it's 2k for 80 robux. It is outrageous for its exchange rate. Let's move on to the next one guys. Back in the day uniforms varied and were customizable. One example is the manager boy slash girl uniforms one had a brighter tint to it while one was almost all black. I personally preferred the lighter one. It was useful if you want more of a variety of uniforms. Unfortunately they removed it. And to be honest it isn't a huge change. However I really liked it, and it is unfortunate that it is gone. Let's move on to the next one guys. New players don't know about this, but back in the day ovens weren't a thing. In fact they are much more boring than what used to be in its place, and if you are an OG fan hang with me. It used to be a conveyor belt. It would go around the room, and when a full cycle is complete you know it's ready most people just tripped and screamed in the kitchen. Some people tripped and went into the oven and cook and scream. Don't act like you didn't do it, we all know you did. Let's move on to the next one guys. Although there is no footage. There used to be a homeless man that would buy your gear and furniture while the dump was under maintenance who is now on an island just to the right of the Builder Brother billboard. And we shall not disturb him, so we must leave him to sleep or you will die trying to wake him up you monster. Let's move on to the next one guys. Again no footage, but back in the day, if you tried to enter a friend or owner only door, you would die. And if some noob insisted you are their friend, even though they didn't send a request, it would be funny to see their annoying self die. Now it just acts like a wall if they don't meet the requirements of the door. Which I find sad that I can't see annoying people die. This was the hardest video I ever made. Please like and subscribe and share, so I know you care every the video just for you, and thanks for watching.